Yes, I'll continue from here, and we will start with the information related to CCMT, right? Sir had already given you an idea about the preferred, uh, the preference order for the various NITs, and I'll take up from like the modalities of CCMT. What are the cautions that you have to observe? And then uh, some inputs related to COAP. In terms of the cutoff scores, I'll just focus on the top five NITs. Anyway, the entire data is being given to you. We are giving you the entire data by way of a PDF, which will get uploaded into the same app by day after tomorrow. So you can carefully take a look at the individual cutoffs, individual IITs, individual NITs. But in the meantime, what can be done by you to get a fair assessment of what you are likely to be getting? You can visit the website of CCMT 2023. The entire data has been uploaded there. Set your filters related to institute and course combinations, and you can get a fair idea about what is in store for you there. Right? So, as we proceed, we'll just take a look. Now, there is one slide which is, uh, which is uh, there in front of you. Sir had already talked about this slide. The only purpose of, uh, for me to take this slide uh, right away was to give you an idea about what is the variation in comparison with the previous year. I was just looking at the plot of gate rank, gate score and marks obtained. There is minimal variation. There is minimal variation. In fact, if I just were to give you, give an idea, uh, like uh, the only difference was like top ranker in uh, 2023 had 93.67 that you are already aware that you have seen, right? And when we look at rank 10, rank 10 had gate marks of 86.33. Here we have the data for rank 14 and the marks are 84.01, not very much difference. Remember one thing, in the top ranks, the fall in marks is quicker rather than in the lower ranks where the fall is very slow, right? Again, if I look at the marks of rank 55 previous year, the marks were 77.33. This year at 39, we have 78.67. This is lesser by 1.34, which is, and the ranks have slid down by 16, almost at par. I'm using the term almost at par, right? And the same process, the same, you know, observation is stretching to almost throughout. Like 986, for example, uh, 986 rank is with the gate marks of 59.14 this year. Last year, 983 had gate marks of 57. The variation is not very steep. The variation is not very steep. It is very minimal. Almost the same variation you can say as was observed in case of the top ranks, right? There was one query which was posted in COAP, related to COAP. Can I hold more than one admissions? The answer is no in block capitals. You cannot hold more than one admissions. You have to accept or reject. Retain and wait, but only one out of the multiple options that are available to you. That is something which you have to bear in mind. And the same thing holds good for CCMT also, by the way. So let me just jump to the CCMT. Right? CCMT is a strictly online process. You can fill as many choices as you want, but it is never advisable to fill all the choices. Fill up the choices, fill up the institutes where you want to go. There is no point in filling up the names of the institutes and the courses which you are just not going to take up. So make a judicious list and it is not that you will always, you know, fill up one institute, all courses, second institute, all courses. No, do not do that. Make a proper choice of institute branch, institute branch. Maybe for NIT Trichy, you can pick up one or two or three courses, then move to NIT Suratkal, then move to NIT Varangal, Calicut, etc. That may be a better option rather than, you know, the, you take up a core course, fill up all the 10 NITs. Do not do that. Do not do that. Right? 
more than 60 institutes are participating in this process of admission based on CCMT, right? There is time for that. There is still a lot of time for that. As a matter of fact, when I come to the tentative date lines, you will realize that the process is going to begin maybe around 6th or 7th of June this year. Last year, it started from 5th of June 2023 and the registrations were open for a period of three weeks after which you had to do the freezing of your choices and then the various rounds were started off, right? Criteria for application. You have to have 60 percent or a CGPA of 6.5 if you are a general category OBC or EWS candidate. For SCST, it is 55 percent or a CGPA of 6. The conversion formula given by any institute is not acceptable for CCMT, right? Now here, you must have a valid GATE score for the last 3 years and the 3 years are 22, 23 and 24. The definition of valid GATE score means you must have qualified. If you do not have the qualifying marks, then you are neither eligible for GATE, neither eligible for CCMT, nor are you eligible for COAP. You have to keep this aspect in mind. There have been some queries related to that. So, I hope this is an answer to that question. The stages of counselling, you have online registration, then you have to do the locking of your choices, which means institute plus specialization combination. There are three main rounds of seat allotment followed by two special rounds. At the end of every round, the CCMT website displays the number of seats available, right? There has been, there is a difference with effect from last year. Candidates who did not register for the main rounds, they can register for the special rounds. At the same time, if you want to surrender the allotment in the main round, you can re-register and fill up your branches, fill up your preferences afresh before the start of the special rounds, right? In first three rounds, change of choices is not allowed, but in special round, before the start of special rounds, yes, you can make a change. <coughs> Datelines are important to be noticed. As I said, online application last year was from 5th of June to 22nd of June. This year, it is expected to follow a very similar timeline, give or take a couple of days here and there. The notification is likely to be released around 15th of May. They will release an ad and they will make the site active around that time, right? The timelines for the different uh, rounds last year, it is clearly available to you. and. <coughs> they are likely to be following a very similar timeline. So, there is time available and as a matter of fact, before the start of the CCMT applications, the moment they open for registration, we will start, we will have uh, sessions for individual branches where we will help you fill up your choices, the preferences in a judicious manner, right? <coughs> CCMT cutoffs, as I mentioned, we will take a look at the CCMT cutoff for the top five institutes only. Anyway, the entire data is being made available to you. There is no interview. I have already said that. This means first column indicates the opening score of a candidate who took admission in NIT Trichy, which means opening of the round one. And the second column, the minimum indicates the closing score of round three. These are the main rounds. It does not give you the information, does not include the information related to special rounds, right? This is an aspect that you must bear in mind, which means to say that NIT Trichy for CSE 679 was the closing of round 3. It can go down further in case some candidates have withdrawn after the third round, right? Data analytics, some of the candidates are interested in this course. Here, the cutoff is significantly lower, it is lower by almost 50. Some of the students have been asking what is likely to be the variation this year. 
my anticipation this year is that it is going to remain by and large in a similar range maybe 10 20 points here and there not beyond that not so much variation right <clears throat> Varangal the cutoff is significantly low but it has suddenly gone up for EWS category right Suratkal attracts very large number of prospective students and here the highest cutoff opening was for computational data science. One candidate had asked, sir, I have done my MSc in mathematics and computing, which are the options open to me? This is one of the options definitely which is a very bright option open for you, right? 747 is the opening and 648 is the closing and it is the same for computer science and engineering also. If we take a look at Calicut, here they are offering two courses, CSE and information security. CSE obviously has a higher cutoff and information security has a lesser cutoff. Allahabad is around 645 going down to 566 in round 1 and likewise similar fall in different categories. All right. Uh, Raurkela again same range similar to what we saw in case of uh, Allahabad. Now, there is data available for all the NITs, right? But rather than spend time on that, I would want to jump over to COAP because there are finite number of questions available and related to this. The most important question, sir, do I have to apply to individual IITs also for admission? The answer is yes, you have to apply to individual IITs. COAP is not for admissions. COAP is only information providing. The name is Common Offer Acceptance Portal. It is meant only for accepting the offers that you are getting. It is not for application. So, you have to apply for individual IITs, individual institutes and the courses. This is only for accepting or not accepting the offers which you are getting, right? Registrations have already started for COAP and do not be in a hurry patiently register. One candidate said I forgot to fill up the score of DA. Well, it is your call. You may have to go in for a second registration because once you have submitted the application, there is no possibility of adding another score. When you are registering, there is a opportunity, there is a possibility of adding a second score. But once you have pressed submit, there is no opportunity available. So, be careful. I hope you are not in a mad rush to register for COAP. Because anyway, the COAP will start getting used only after the first selection lists are declared by any of the participating institutes. And the participating institutes are 24 IITs and IISC. There are 24 institutes which are participating in this process, which means all their admission offers will be displayed using the COAP platform. And you as a candidate who has applied to any of those courses will have to exercise your option of accepting retain and wait or reject. These are the three choices. Of course, there are yes or no compared uh, in the various rounds. Okay. Not an application portal should apply separately to the individual institutes. Each participating institute will follow their own selection procedure. There is no one size fits all. Okay. To access and make a decision on the most preferred choice each candidate should register at COAP. If you are not registered at COAP, you will not be able to see what are the offers I am getting. And I do not think it is costing anything. It is a free of cost service. You must register for it. All right. Again, you must have a valid gate score. Valid gate score means qualified in gate 24 or 23 or 22. Mandatory, mandatory which means that you cannot even apply for admission to any of the IITs and ISC if you have not qualified in any of these three years. Even if you are qualified in one of these three, you are eligible to apply, not to worry. All right. This was just, you know, some of the important information which I tried to put on the slides. Okay. Three options in the five rounds. There are ma five main rounds and then there are five additional rounds. In the main rounds, you have three options. 
the first option is accept and freeze that means you are happy with the institute and course that you have got and you don't want to reconsider it at all second option is retain and wait the institute and course that you have been offered you can do a retain and wait which means you can hope for an upgrade to a course and institute of your choice however there is a limit you can do a retain and wait on the same offer which means the combination of institute and program only twice otherwise you will have to reject it and wait for any subsequent offer right maximum of two times you can do a uh, retain and wait otherwise you will have to reject and wait for the next one the third option is reject and wait this is the third alternative right it means that you are in the race for higher consideration okay now in the decisive round which means the final round of the first stage that is the fifth round you have only two options which is accept and freeze or reject and the same thing holds good for the additional five rounds it is only either accept and freeze or reject please go through the information brochure of coap very carefully important to go through the faqs the frequently asked questions where by reading it you have to invest some of your time in reading it you will be able to get the answers to practically all all the questions that you might be having in mind some of them i have already addressed okay i'll just run through them see otherwise we'll get lost in the maze of numbers only some of you might be looking at psus right uh, bala sir had already talked about the you know prominence of triple it hyderabad and triple it bangalore uh, hyderabad of course most of you are already aware of triple it bangalore some of you may not be aware but let me tell you triple it bangalore the founder director of triple it bangalore dr s sadakopan he had really taken that institute to great heights which means just like in triple it hyderabad in triple it bangalore also the placements are almost almost at par with the offers in top iits being in bangalore it has a strategic advantage that most of the top it companies are coming to the campus for placements and they are ending up getting a very high package the only disadvantage both for triple it hyderabad as well as for triple it bangalore the fee is higher than number of other institutes that's the only drawback other than that both would be a great choice for you the psus which are recruiting based on the gate score let's take a look at that ongc every year is doing it and the designation is programming officer right iucl is recruiting uppcl is recruiting up uttar pradesh public uh, uttar pradesh power corporation limited nrl that is numaligarh refineries which is based in assam they are recruiting based on gate score nlc the naval ignite corporation nlc has been recruiting in two groups one group which is the power plant sites and the second group is the mining sites this year they have uh, just finished the finish with the interview process the results for the civil stream have already been announced not for the rest of the streams one by one they are announcing the results so they have recruited for uh, recruited the cs gate code cs with the btech in computer science or it airport authority of india specific for the it related jobs they are doing the shortlisting based on gate followed by of course interview pgcl again has been recruiting based on gate chris is recruiting based on gate posoko again based on gate sebi you might have seen some of you who have been uh, already in job or uh, who have been giving gate year after year sebi is also doing the shortlist based on the gate score nfl national fertilizers limited again gate score ecil regular visitor recruiting it graduates cs it graduates based on gate score right uh, again a repeated list i'll just start writing about whether it is only interview or interview plus gd only interview darc and a hardcore technical interview the timing of the interview ranging from 45 minutes to 
may be even two hours at times. But fully technical interview and you have to excel. They start off with a very slow, with, with a very, you know, moderate level of difficulty and then they start, you know, jacking up the level. ONGC, again, only interview, which carries 15% weightage. 60 is gate, 25 is qualification. Right? And 15% is interview. CSIR, this is for GRF, Junior Research Fellowship, for their various labs, which are spread all over the country. IOCL has GD, GT and PI. 15% weightage, 85% is the weightage of the gate marks. It is not elimination round. POSOCO, only interview. NLC, GD plus interview. NTPC, direct because they are recruiting at E1 level rather than at E2 level. This they started doing last three years. So, there is no interview here. PSPCL, again interview. Haryana Power Utilities, again interview. DRDO, shortlist on gate, followed by conventional paper and PI. Again, technical interview. NPCIL interview, grilling technical interview, CIL again interview, Gale GD plus interview, EIL interview, CPCIL follows the same process as adopted by IUCL being a group company, Orissa Power Generation Corporation again interview only. DVC only interview. Oh, they also conduct GD. This year, number of candidates had come. Madhya Pradesh Power Generation Corporation Limited, they conduct only interview. See, the reason why I am mentioning it, that there may be a question, what should be done if I get a call? Well, Made Easy is there for you to support you with your interview and GDGT preparation, right? We conduct online sessions and if possible, we will also conduct in-person sessions at one of our centers in Delhi, right. You will be kept informed by way of notifications in the official Medizi telegram or in and or in the CS telegram group, the uh, group of your branch. BRC is offering training by way of a one-year OCS recruitment process or through the same interview process, there is an option for consideration for a two-year training program. Now, DGFS is clearly aimed at providing you M.Tech degree, right? Either you take admission in one of the institutes for M.Tech in the disciplines which have been highlighted in the BARC information brochure or if you are not taken admission for MTech, then you can be enrolled for MTech program at the Dr. Homi Bhabha Institute of Nuclear Engineering and you will be able to get MTech degree which is awarded by the Homi Bhabha Institute of Nuclear Research, right? The DAE two years fellowship scheme is eligible for engineering graduates and post graduates in physics. Of course, you are CS graduates that means for the gate code CS and your BTEC in CS. The eligible disciplines are important and they have very elaborately given the details of which are the disciplines which are eligible in the BARC information brochure. And after the training is over, you are absorbed as scientific officer C. In case you opt for DGFS, then you are given two extra increments once the your MTech is completed and you are a group A gazetted officer. The cutoffs. In 2023, the gate score cutoff was 724, and this 724 corresponded to again, I am giving an approximate rank. 
सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर कॉरस्पॉन्डेड टू रैंक ऑफ अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री फिफ्टी ओके द इट कॉरस्पॉन्डेड टू अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री फिफ्टी राइट सम मोर इनपुट्स रिलेटेड टू द बी आर सी रिक्रूटमेंट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दे सेलेक्टेड फिफ्टीन पीपल फॉर द सी एस डिसिप्लिन राइट फिफ्टीन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फाइव ईच इन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी वन राइट एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स विच आर कॉल्ड द मल्टीप्लायर इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ट्वेंटी the only exception was last year in 2023 when the number of candidates that were called was approximately 14 times approximately 220 candidates were called for interview it includes candidates shortlisted based on gate score and candidates who qualified in the direct exam which was conducted by barc right score rank and marks are related you are right somebody has pointed out pgcil the cut off score cut off marks now for 2023 for interview was 67.33 fell down to 50.67 for ews and was higher at 58.67 for obc and likewise for the other categories it gives you an indicative idea about what is the possibility of your getting shortlisted for interview in pgcil but of course a big function of the number of vacancies for dvc the cut off for gate was 63 marks for general category there were no recruitments for obc and ews and for sc the cut off was 36.67 ohpc the general category cut off was 57.67 and 30 for st category there were no recruitments for the other categories iucl the cut off for general category was 61.931 for obc it was 56.331 the information not available based on the R rti that was for, uh, filed they did not provide us the information for ews for the rest of the categories they have provided the information which is available with you gale the cut off was 58.67 for obc it was 55 and for sc st 44 and 29 grid controller earlier known as posoco the cut off marks related to 2023 recruitments a fairly high 66.67 for general category surprisingly very low for ews 36 maybe very few candidates applied for it OBC was forty five point six seven, which is quite low in comparison to the general category. Power Grid Corporation, the cut off for call is similar to what was there for Posoco, sixty seven point three three. For EWS, it is fifty point six seven. For OBC, it is fifty eight point six seven. I think it's a repeat slide. ONGC cut off for programming officer was fifty seven for unreserved category, forty three for EWS. Fifty-two point six seven for OBC and corresponding for SC and ST. There were no openings for uh, PH category in this. Closing with a look at the Gate Twenty Four results, we had uh, two selections in the top ten. In fact, the top two ranks: Piyush, who was a student of our online course and test series; Priyanshu, who was a who had enrolled for. the test series program and when we come to the first rank we have nine students in fact we have top 10 ranks in top ranks in 10 disciplines ce me there are two top rankers in electrical engineering and both have been uh, test series candidates for us In, uh, instrumentation rishab was a test series student raja maji online course and test series student engineering science was a test series student then we had piyush kumar 
both Piyush and Kumar Vishesh, both were online course students as well as test series. And for uh, environmental sciences, Yashwant Babu was a classroom course student as well as a test series student. Right. Uh, this is just the repetition of the um, slides which we uh, had. Before I close, before I close, I would write down my email ID so that you can make a note of it. My email ID is dkarora at madeeasy dot in. You can write to me with your specific queries, but there are prerequisites when you write to me. The prerequisites are obviously your name would be definitely available, your gate roll number, gate marks score rank this is mandatory information your name is obviously there right followed by your specific query be specific with your queries and I normally respond back within 24 hours. The only exception is these two days when it may take a day longer. Otherwise, all your queries are responded back within 24 hours. Feel free to write. We will keep organizing online sessions to help you with choice of subjects, the direction in which you can be asked questions related to your MTech admissions, whether it is at IIT, whether it is at IISC, the preferred areas of preparation and that can help you really clinch the admission process and land up at an institute and a course of your choice. All right. Uh, before we close, before we close, I will take a look at the questions which are there in the chat box in case uh, uh, some are still remaining. Sir has been responding to most of the questions simultaneously. So, in case um, uh, Ritika has asked, can I apply in triple IIT H Bangalore and triple IIT B based on MSc Mathematics and Computing? Ritika, please look at the brochure, information brochure of both these institutes to ensure that you are not making a mistake. In all likelihood, it is permitted. In all likelihood, it is permitted. But before closing that uh, option, you must look at the information brochure and then apply for it. Right? Should I prefer NIT Trichy over IIT Guwahati, uh, Triple IIT, uh, IIT Hyderabad or IIT Kharagpur as my rank is 863 and score is 709. The sequence can be, the sequence can be IIT Hyderabad, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Guwahati and then NIT Trichy. The reason why I am giving this uh, preference list is because placements are at par. IIT Guwahati for computer science, the placements are pretty good. Rahul has got a score of 690 in 23 and 845 in 24. Please apply using 845. Higher score always will give you advantage. Higher score will always give an advantage. Gautam, you must appear for the triple IT Hyderabad exam. You must appear for the triple IT Hyderabad exam. Definitely yes. Bhavesh 151 rank, you can expect, you can expect admission in the top IITs. Uh, if you missed half an hour of the session, do not worry, the recording will be available in the app from tomorrow onwards. You can watch it, no issues. Devang says, if you retain any one offer from four, the other three will lapse. The other three will lapse. Be clear on that. And I am sure you are talking in the context of COAP only. The PDF also will be available by day after tomorrow. Yes, it will be available. The complete PDF with all the CCMT cutoffs and everything that has been shown and discussed today. All right. DA statistics, unfortunately, not much is available. That is the unfortunate part. We have not been able to get any information related to DA being a new branch and a new course. Minimum cutoffs given list given by shown by the IITs relates to an interview call. Only in a few cases, it is the uh, score of the last candidate. New IITs at a gate score of 465 are very much within reach, Cyan. There is no problem. 
do mtech students get uh, stipend at triple iit hyderabad no but triple iit hyderabad may offer them some scholarships based on your performance in the exam conducted by them nit alabad and raurkela you can make a choice depending on the location of convenience both have equally good placements for cs 592 obc priyanka reddy your question is really very vague make a short list based on the pdf and then you can make a list wish list and then we can give you the suggestions no doubt about it gate cs air 277 wait Score 802 category EWS, preference order as shown, Divyanshu, preference order as shown, like ISC being the top choice, followed by IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur. I do not think you have to go beyond that in all likelihood. Hira Afridi 556, getting any chance in the top 7 IITs, you will have to take a chance till the last round, yes you will have to take a chance till the last round and there may be a possibility there may be a possibility ritika gate score 654 general category what can be the best choice ritika you can settle for the relatively newer iits or the top nits there is a bright possibility score 544 which triple it can i get Triple IIT Hyderabad conducts its own exam. If you are able to do well in that exam, definitely Triple IIT Hyderabad becomes within your reach. Otherwise, you will have to consider Triple IIT Gwalior, Triple IIT Allahabad or Pune. These can be giving you the options. 512 e EWS, new IIT, certainly there is an option uh, Siddhi, definitely there is an option. If 60 percent eligibility is not clear, you are not eligible for the CCMT nor for the IITs which have that barrier. You are definitely eligible for admission to IIT Kanpur and IIT Madras, no doubt about it. Rank 8049, if you are qualified Amit, you can apply and you can definitely get into the NITs. Preference order for NIT Kurukshetra, Nagpur and Surat, prefer Surat over Kurukshetra and followed by Nagpur. Unless you have preference for Nagpur, then in that case it is Surat, Nagpur, Kurukshetra. Aniket 723 score, which college can I expect? Uh, Aniket, your question is so vague that I cannot reply. Vinay, I have already replied to your question, so why are you posting it again, please? 730 score rank was 315, uh, uh, rank uh, score is 733, rank is 665. How much difference can we assume in cutoff? This is a very wide variation, really. I am not sure whether it is so much of difference, but definitely you will have to settle for a lower ranking IIT only if that is the case. Bhubaneswar, Gandhinagar, Dhanbad, Ropad over Trichy or not? If I were in your place, I would prefer Trichy for CSE branch. Placements are top of the line, unless you are planning to go for uh, teaching profession where BTEC from IIT may matter. Dipesh preference should be given to MTech or MS. I am always in favor of preference for MTech in comparison to MS because MTech is more preferred by industry rather than MS. Gate score 426, can I get into IITs? New IITs are within your reach. Okay, I think uh, this is where we will stop taking your questions. All right. Based on gate score, PSU calls DA not expected, not expected because for gate for PSUs they have a requirement of BTEC in CS or IT and a gate code of CS only. That is it, all right, fine. So, friends, we are closing the session now, and uh, as I said, the PDF will be available by day after tomorrow. The video you can watch from tomorrow onwards but not infinite number of times, obviously there will be a limitation. Make a judicious call, we are always there to guide you and help you with your admission process as well as with your interview and GD preparation for PSUs. Our best wishes, prepare, practice speaking and get selected. Best wishes once again, thank you.